a very warm good evening to you myself rohit and today in this video we will going to talk about rational number and irrational numbers which is very very essential topic you know about that okay so yeah let's get started but before just start the video i would like to introduce myself a little bit so yes myself rohit and i have done my graduation in the stream of mathematics so without any further delay let's get started so yes we are going to talk about rational numbers and irrational numbers okay so what are rational numbers so as you can see here the numbers which can be represented in the form of p by q and q is not equals to 0 that time we call it rational numbers so what is the method to understand this whole concepts so let's start natural number natural numbers so what are natural numbers okay all the counting numbers are natural numbers earlier we have studied about it you know okay so all the natural number uh, all the counting numbers are natural number we know about that 1 2 3 4 till infinite you know about this 1 2 3 4 4 till infinitely right so the set of the counting numbers till infinitely are called natural numbers okay now the second part of this family is whole numbers so what are whole numbers the if we include zero in the family of natural number then this complete set will become the family of whole numbers right okay so we can write here 0 1 2 3 and till infinitely right as the same way we have to consider we have to understand about integers so what are integers if the negative set of natural numbers is included with the set of whole numbers then the complete family will be considered as integers okay so i hope you all understand about the integers so let's come back here so what are integers here we have a number line 0 1 2 3 infinite and minus 1 minus 2 Minus three and infinite. So this is the family of whole number and negative set of natural number. So that's why we have a family that is called integer, right? Now come back to the rational number. Okay. So let us take a section of this number num of this number line zero to one, right? So can we include more numbers between zero to one? Yes. So how do we understand about that? Let us suppose we have a pizza, okay? And just take a, just make a half of that pizza. You will get two equal halves of that pizza. Now take the single half of that pizza and make it further two ha equal halves of that pizza. So we have now one quarter of it of that pizza. now uh, take just take the one quarter of that pizza and further make it equal half so yes you can still again and again keep divide that pizza then you will get the small portion of that pizza each time so how many times can you divide it you can divide it infinitely many times so yes we can divide this section many times and each times we will get a rational number then each times we will get a rational number right so there are infinitely rational numbers can be lies between two integers so this is a very important point so yes we have infinitely rational numbers between any two integers as we have discussed right now now by this concept we have ordered of this family of number system 
so what are the orders let's see so yes we have a family members of the number system as natural number whole number integers and rational number as we have discussed it about it right now okay so you can see here the order of the family members of the number system so yes why it is important for us because we, by this order by observing this order by have a looking this order we can understand and we can make many of the questions like statement based for example all numbers are whole numbers yes because it is uh, arranged in the order of this given of this given types right so yeah so all the natural numbers are whole number as the same way all the whole numbers are integers and all the integers are rational number but the vice versa of this order is not true okay the rational all the rational numbers are not integer it is false all integers are not whole number it is also false and all the whole numbers are not not natural number it is also false so yes you have to keep all this concept in your mind okay now finally we can say as a definition of rational number that the rational number is a type of number that can be represented as the form of p by q as the form of p by q okay such that q should not be equal to 0 and p and q should be integer okay p and q should be integer integers right so this is the definition of rational numbers so now we will further describe we will further try to understand the next important concept of a rational number so let's see what is it so yeah we have come to the point standard form of rational number which is very very important for us okay so what have you ever understand what is the stand, uh, standard form of rational number so let's see what is it if we are going to write a rational number in the form of p by q and if P and Q are integers with a no common factor other than one, right? So if we have written a rational number in the form of P by Q and P and Q are the integers with a, with a no common factor other than one and the denominator is positive integer and the denominator is positive integer then in that case we will call we will we will say that this p by q is the form of a standard rational number a standard form of this is a standard form of rational number right so yes this is the conditions to be a rational number in a standard form so let's Let's understand after taking an example, okay? So yes, we have a question here. Make 15 upon minus 12 as a standard form of rational number. So first of all, we have to check that 15, whether 15 and 12 is, uh, you know, is a co-prime number or not. So let's check. It is obvious, 15 can be divided by 3 and uh, 12 can also be divided by 3 that it is obvious that it is not in the as a co-prime number okay or as a simplest form so we have to make it in simplest form how do we do that we have to take a LCM sorry HCF of 15 and 12 we have to take the HCF of 15 and 12 so just make the HCF of 15 and 12 what will you get so we can write here 3 into 5 and we can write here 2 into 2 into 3 so what is common here we can see here that 3 is common so finally we have HCF of 3 so you have to just divide by 3 to its numerator and denominator okay so yes the minus would be right here okay divide by 3 and divide by 3 so we have 5 upon minus 4 okay so we have 5 upon minus 4 right it is still not in the standard form of the rational number because our denominator is negative and as for our definition of the rational number the denominator should be in 
so it'll be as positive so this is very simple we have to just divide it by minus 1 and minus 1 okay so we have to divide it by minus 1 and minus 1 so what we have right now we have minus 5 upon 4 so now minus 5 upon 4 is the standard form of the rational number so I hope it is clear to you right now we have to understand a concept of irrational number so get ready for it after the concept of rational numbers one of the Pythagorean wondered that how do we plot root 2 in the number line can we plot root 2 in the number line okay now one of the Pythagorean wondered that how do we uh, represent root 2 in the number line so it is obvious that it is it was not possible to represent root 2 in a number line because we can't write root 2 as a form of p by q so root 2 is a irrational number irrational number why because we can't represent because we can't we can't write the value of root 2 as a p by q that's why it is not a rational number in on the other other words we can also see the rational number the fraction of the rational numbers the numerator and the denominator of the rational numbers cannot be written as the uh, cannot be as an integer cannot be found as an integer that's why it is not a uh, it is not it can it cannot uh, represent in the number line that's why it is a rational number okay now the question arises now we have discussed about rational number rational numbers and irrational numbers so the combination the set of rational numbers and irrational numbers are called real number right the set of rational numbers and irrational numbers are called real number real numbers right okay so we have to just recall the concepts that no rational numbers are irrational numbers no irrational numbers are rational numbers okay but the set of rational numbers and irrational numbers are called real number okay so these are the examples of real number these are the concept of real number okay so i hope it is clear uh, every topic to you i i am uh, successful i am success after in the term of explaining all the terms uh, of rational number and irrational number so that's why that's all for today we will meet in the next video